All right, good job. Okay, stand back. We got all the way down to Maple or Street. Really? Yes. On on Duke. Yeah. Oh from Market gosh. all the way down to Maple. Holy heck! Yeah. And, that is uh, awesome. Though. That's like five blocks. Here. Yeah. Thank you, darling. Uh, after church, our church at Bethel at 350 West Prince Street, we're having an all-you-can-eat buffet oh, yeah? from 1 to 3. It's going right in the calendar, yeah. <laughs> It's a unified relay that's going to run across the country to raise money for Special Olympics Incorporated. Wow. And we're going to raise $2,500 here? I'm going to raise $2,500, God's right. willing. And I'm we're going to help you. Well, thank I you. I said, and we're going to help you. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you. We have a cleanup at Vance Park on July 17th through yes. the 19th. The Cadores Creek cleanup this we year. We were talking about that. This is actually where I started my work in the city. Right here. We had our first Cadoris Creek Festival, Cadoris Fest, in 1999. And we saw how dirty the creek was and said, we gotta do something. We've got this beautiful area here. We gotta show, have a festival and start drawing people's attention to cleaning the creek. I mean, it's um, a wonderful thing, you know, you could tell you would be a great um, person in any position for the simple fact that here we are on a Saturday afternoon and you are out walking and greeting and meeting the community still, you know, seeking information, seeking concerns and all like that. And I've always seen that as one of your better qualities and all like that. Thank and you know, I always wish you the best. Appreciate it. And all like that. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. What just happened? Uh, I don't know why it clogged up, but obviously there's a sewage leak from the bar. Uh, and it's so bad that it's flooded their entire bottom bar and it's going off into the stormwater drain, which then leads into Cadoris Creek. They've got a company on site. They're waiting for a pump truck to come and be able to pump this stuff out. There's nothing that guy can do by himself. So they're doing all the right things. But generally, if people are doing the right things, I'm more lenient with them and not just calling in to get them fined. But yeah, you know, I get called into action at any time. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, it's not just about showing up at a couple meetings a month and making laws. It's, it's about trying to fix problems. I'm York City Councilman Michael Helfrick, and I'm working for you morning, noon, and night. I'm not here to tell you what you need. I'm here to ask you what you need. I'm here to represent you.